Hello, I'm Glenn Burkett. Today I'm going to talk with you about your heart and circulation. This can be your heart, arteries, veins, capillaries, and how they should function versus malfunction, and how they should be nourished instead of prescription drugged. And I'll be using books related to Dr. Stephen Sinatra. He wrote a book called Reverse Heart Disease Now. Also, Julian Whitaker. Uh, he is really big on educating you not to do cholesterol drugs and also uh, James Bach. And it's about learning, do, does my body need nourishment or does my body need to function off good nutrients? The problem is you're educated through TV commercials about what drugs to do. You're not educated on what nutrients to do. So that's my job with you today. So let's go to the chart here and I'm gonna show you about your heart and your circulation because that is, that's the big thing to understand is how we're supposed to function versus malfunction. Now your heart is right in the center of your chest, right behind the, the bone that connects the ribs in the center of the chest. It is there for the protection by those bones and also your lungs are on each side of the heart. The blood actually has to go through the lungs to let off what, and take in new oxygen. So you're letting off oxygen and you're letting off what you've already need to exhale and, and get rid of those toxins. And then the, the blood goes back to the heart. You've got four chambers of the heart. So understand that as they contract, they also need to relax. And as they contract, the blood is pushed out. And that is what you're getting what's called a systolic. Systolic part of your blood pressure. The diastolic is when the heart needs to relax to to refill and it will not relax unless it has the adequate amount of nutrients and that's what I want to educate you about today. Now you see here your carotid arteries those come up through your neck and they feed your brain and also then you have the arteries that come down your, through your abdominal area and then they will split off to go into your legs. Now these arteries have to be in good condition as far as being nourished. They're not rubber, they're not copper, PVC pipe. They're living tissue. And if you don't nourish those um, blood vessels and arteries and capillaries, they will deteriorate. And that's what the problem is as far as people with diabetes, is those arteries and capillaries are deteriorating. Now on the other side over here, you see uh, your veins, that's the blue one over here on this other side of the chart here. So if you'll just move it to the other side of the chart, there you go. And then you see blue. So that is oxygen deprived uh, blood flow that's on its way to be returned to the heart to go back through the lungs to get more new, uh, oxygen. And then also the body as it goes through the intestinal area is getting all the nutrients. That's why you eat. So it's about understanding if you don't have good digestion, you're not going to have good absorption to get into the bloodstream to go throughout the body for the function. And a lot of problems that we're having is with the blood pressure, and we're also having problems with people now with Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, and to an increase. So what it's about then is understanding through these wonderful people who've done some great uh, research of helping you, helping you understand what you need to do. For example, here on page nine, it talks about that um, he's a new type of cardiologist and he's understanding that he is into doing things through nourishment versus prescription drugs. He uses prescription drugs at the last resort. Okay, and he's also talking about here that for years he has seen people develop plaque in their arteries, even though they were non-smokers. The cholesterol was no, uh, normal and the blood pressure was normal. So it's understanding that your nourishment affects the plaque. And also in, later, and I'll uh, be discussing with you regarding inflammation. And most people are harmed through inflammation of their arteries. And that comes from also from foods and also from prescription drugs. And he states in here that prescription drugs are the fourth leading cause of death. This is a cardiologist making this statement. Prescription drugs are the fourth leading cause of death. Glenn Burkett takes heart and body for high cholesterol, 
high blood pressure, diabetes, reverse artery blockage, circulation, liver, hepatitis, erectile dysfunction, HIV, periodontal disease, and varicose veins. Glen Briquette takes calcium, glucosamine, magnesium chondroitin MSM for high blood pressure, insomnia, arthritis, osteoporosis, allergies, headaches, backaches, high cholesterol, leg cramps, anxiety, and pain. Glen Briquette takes omega-3 salmon oil for candida, the heart and blood pressure, dry cracking skin, weight loss, and gout. Glen Briquette takes Mellow Life for anti-stress, depression, sleep, and anxiety. To order Glen Briquette's products, call 1-888-868-1935 or visit online at www.glenbriquette.com. That's Glen with two N's and Briquette with two T's dot com.